Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Game Development Log Video Diary and this week I have been preparing to release the dev kit. But before I get into the dev kit stuff I just want to show you the changes that I've made to the camera in game this week. If we have a look at how the camera movement was like last time, you can see that when I move the camera around the player with the mouse, it moves very rigidly and stops instantly when I stop moving the mouse. When I zoom in and out, the movement is very jolty, and when the player rotates, the camera would follow robotically behind. But this week I smoothed out the camera movement and made it all a bit more graceful. So you can see here that it's a lot smoother now, zooming in and out is also much nicer, and probably most importantly, when the player rotates, the camera glides around smoothly behind him. But of course the main thing that I've been doing these last two weeks has been finishing off the dev tools and adding some last minute features and bug fixes. Next week I'm going to be releasing the model converter, item editor and entity editor tools, so everyone who is offered to help will be getting an email about that at the end of next week. And if anyone else would like to receive a copy of the dev kit but hasn't yet let me know, then do send me an email to thinmatrix at gmail.com. I probably won't be releasing the world editor until the beginning of next year though, because I still need to finish the terrain editing options, and also I only have about 10 available entities at the moment, so there's not much point in releasing it until I've got a few more entities in the repository. So I can now show you the finished dev tools with the extra features that I added this week. The model converter tool is now completely finished and ready for releasing, and I haven't really added anything new here, just a couple of little bug fixes and this option to rotate the object. The item editor is also complete, and I added a couple of small features this week. So the item names and IDs now show up nicely in the open file interface. You now can't click away from these pop-up windows until you've closed them, and I also added a couple of preview options, allowing you to change the player's animation and to choose whether you want him to rotate or not. And finally, the Entity Editor program. Uh, I'm not quite finished with this just yet. I've added all the features that I wanted to add and I've fixed all the bugs that I could find, but I still need to do some final testing and tidying up. But this week I fixed a load of bugs, added a visual aid to help with setting the position of a light source, made error messages appear when you try to open an invalid file instead of just crashing the program. The preview now renders the entity using the renderer that you select here, so that you can see the effect of using that particular rendering system, such as the fade out feature when using the clutter renderer. And finally, I added a couple of preview options, such as this option to show or hide the terrain, and this slider here that allows you to set the time of day. Also this week I got rid of all my old item files and recreated all of the items in the item editor so that they all now use the new item file format. But apart from that, that is pretty much it. So next week as I said I'm going to be releasing the dev kit and also a few videos with more information about how you can use the tools to help create content for this game if that's what you'd like to do. But that is it for this week, thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have an awesome week, and I will see you all next time.